بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دس ویڈیو از ان کنٹینویشن ود مائی پریویس ویڈیو آن آئی سی ففٹی کیلکولیشن ان دس ویڈیو وی ول لرن اباؤٹ ہاؤ ٹو کیلکولیٹ آئی سی ففٹی ویلیوز ود ویری ہائی پرسنٹ ایکٹیویٹی دیٹ از ون دا ایکٹیویٹی آف دا سامپل از ہائیر دین ففٹی پرسنٹ فرسٹ آف آل وی ول اوپن دا ایکسل شیٹ وی ول فٹ دا کنسنٹریشن فار ایگزامپل وی ہیو دا کنسنٹریشن آف تھاؤزینڈ PPM 500 PPM 250 PPM 125 and 62.5 PPM and uh, we have the percent activity on uh, 1000 PPM it shows 89% activity on 500 PPM it shows 82% activity and uh, on the very lowest concentration on 62.5 PPM it shows the 80 the 58% activity In this example, we can see that uh, on the very lowest concentration, the activity is more than 50%. The 62.5 uh, ppm is showing more than 50%, that is 58% activity. So, uh, now we will learn that how to calculate the IC50 values for the samples which are having more than 50% activity, which are having very higher activity. That means that the activity of all the samples is more than 50%, the activity of all the samples is very high. So now we are going to calculate the IC50 value. I'm going to minimize what I'm going to do. I will select this data. I will go to insert, then to scatter diagram, then to the second one with smooth line. Now over here we can see that uh, we have obtained the graph. I will remove this one to make it large so what I'm going to do is to extend the graph so that we can get a clear data okay uh, we can see over here that uh, the distribution on the x-axis is uh, 200 200 400 600 so I'm going to reduce it the format axis I'm going to reduce it to 50 So we can see over here that this is reduced to 50. Now I'm going to put the minor grid lines. These are the minor grid lines which are showing the division of 10. This is 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. So uh, to make it very simple, uh, now I am going to show you that the lowest concentration, this is the lowest concentration and the lowest concentration is showing more than 50% activity you can see that the 50% line is not intersected by this by these concentration or by these activities the activities is more than 50% so how will we predict that where this line will intersect this 50% um, we will uh, first of all we will see our data that uh, which type of data is represented by this graph Uh, we will go to the layout in the layout we will go to the trend line after trend line we will go to more trend line option after going to more trend line option we will compare our data with different pattern now the linear data is selected and we can see from our data that our data is not linear this is not following the linear format This is not following the linear format. So if we try the exponential, our data is not following the exponential format. You can see over here that this is not resembling this exponential format. Our data is also not following the polynomial power or mu. Our data is resembling the logarithmic format. You can see this is uh, this is very simple. You can see over here that our data is following this logarithmic pattern. or data is resembling the logarithmic trend line you can see the trend line is on in black color and this trend line is resembling with our data now what are we going to do we will uh, click this logarithmic and we will go on backward side this is for backward trend line this is for the regression in our this is for regression analysis or this is for the predicting of the activity which is not uh, specified in these values the activity which is not specified in these value can be predicted by the backward analysis by the backward regression analysis so what will we do 
we will uh, put uh, some uh, some value over here that value can be 10 that value can be 20 that value can be 30 that value can for example we are we are um, we are putting the value of 10 what what will it uh, appear like this appear that this this move 10 percent on on this side but this is this this is very low so what will we do onward we will uh, we will put 20 20 is also not uh, uh, intersecting this line so what will we do onward we will for example we are putting the pepti now you can see that uh, on the 50 percent regression you can see that this intersect this line this intersect this line you can also put some other values uh, more than 50 you can also put uh, more than uh, 50 you can also put 100 okay so uh, this goes on backward side with 100 percent so what uh, i'm going to do now you can see over here that uh, on the the line of 50 percent activity this is the this showing the 50 percent activity so this end line is intersecting this 50 percent activity over here on this point uh, how will we get this point i am going to show you we will go to the insert and then shape and then this uh, linear line and this linear line will be selected from this point this point to this point so this is very straight now you can see over here that this line is uh, forwarding from this area to this area now uh, uh, now we, we are going to count the divisions so by zooming in we can see over here that uh, this line is intersecting this x-axis on which point on this point so this is the point where this line is intersecting the x-axis now we will calculate this as a division this is the division of 10 this is 20 this is 30 this is 40 this is 50 so this line is intersecting in between the 20 and 30 but this is not uh, intersecting exactly on the middle of uh, 20 and 30 at which point this is intersecting the 20 and 30 mid this is this is intersecting in between 20 and 30 somewhat near to 30 somewhat near to 30 so we will assume this is more than 25 we will assume this as 26 so we are going to put uh, the ic50 value as 26 ppm so get this 26 value or somewhat near to this 26 value or the value of ic50 by uh, getting the formula from this graph uh, how will we get the formula from this graph we will uh, i'm going to show you we will go to the layout we will go to the trend line then more trend line option after going to more trend line option we will select this logarithmic and after selecting the this logarithmic what would we do we will get uh, the equation on the chart the which equation the logarithmic equation so we, we are going to get this uh, equation we have already got this equation over here this is the equation which which is required now i'm going to copy this equation over here and i'm going to paste it over here so now how will we get uh, the ic50 value from this formula the ic50 value is already uh, we which we have calculated that is 26 ppm so we can also get this 26 value from which from this formula uh, how will we get this uh, from this formula we will put uh, the pepti instead of what instead of y and then uh, the whole pattern will be as such and then uh, finding out the value of x the value of x will be what the value of x will be uh, the value of x will be near to 26 the value of x will be the ic50 value so by calculating the value of x from this formula we can get the ic50 value and the value which we obtain with the help of this formula 
that will be nearly equal to 26 that will not be absolutely equal to 26 that will be nearly equal to 26 uh, but uh, both uh, the f if you are going to, to follow this formula that is also accurate or if we are going to uh, follow uh, this manual calculation uh, this is also accurate but uh, as I have told you that uh, manually we, we have obtained that uh, the 26 is the IC50 value and uh, if you are going to follow this formula this by following this formula uh, it contains the natural log over here you can see it contains the natural log uh, so by calculating the whole value the value of x will be nearly equal to 26 that will not be absolutely equal to 26 but both are accurate